Hello and welcome to the second of our two-part video summary covering all you need to know about Othello, particularly if you are sitting a coursework on this or if you're also due to be sitting an exam on this play by William Shakespeare. Now, the first of our two-part video looked at the play itself, the plot, and also all you need to know about context. And in this video, we'll be looking at all the key characters as well as important themes to bear in mind and some analysis. So when it comes to key characters, there are three major characters that you should be very intimately familiar with. The first is Othello, the main protagonist and our tragic hero. Now, I've mentioned this in the previous video, do remember that this play is a tragedy and a tragedy always refers to a play where the main character or the protagonist, in this case Othello, is essentially a good and noble person. However, due to a tragic flaw that they have, they make a series of mistakes which ultimately leads to their downfall. In the play, we learn that Othello is an outsider, both literally in terms of his appearance, he's a Moor, he's of African descent, but also figuratively. That's why he's an easy target for Iago. Even if he commands Iago, he still, uh, we find that Iago is still able to trigger a lot of his insecurities, which leads to his downfall. Because of his race and his background, he does not fit in in Venice. He's often shown as an outsider in several scenes and he's rarely at the center of the action. However, we also see that he's a great general and a good man at heart. The main antagonist or the villain of this play is Iago. He's seen as one of Shakespeare's worst and most despicable villains. And interestingly, he doesn't seem to have a real motivation for why he does what he does. He seems to mainly enjoy the pain that he causes. On the surface, you can argue that Iago causes all of this chaos and disorder because he was angry at Othello promoting Cassio in terms of rank. However, when you look at the disproportionate amount of chaos that he causes, it also seems to be very gratuitous. He does it just because he enjoys causing a lot of pain. And there are many theories about his motivations and his character, but all that we surely know is that he's an evil person. The third and most important character of this play is Desdemona. She's both a very bold and clever wife. However, in line with Elizabethan standards, contextually, she also fits into being the perfect Elizabethan wife. She's very submissive and very loyal. And even after Othello strangles her to death, with her last dying breath, she defends him to Amelia, who's Iago's wife. She's not afraid to argue with her husband, however. Uh, but, as I've mentioned, when she's killed, she does try to save Othello. Now, when it comes to key themes, there are a few important themes to bear in mind. The first is the theme of jealousy. This is arguably one of uh, Othello's main weaknesses. Uh, he is incredibly jealous and also incredibly insecure about his relationship with Desdemona. And in the play as a whole, jealousy is fueled by lies and it still has devastating effects. Iago uses jealousy to ruin Othello. But this is ironic given that Iago's jealousy over Cassio is part of what started everything. And jealousy in this play comes in very many forms. On the one hand, romantic, so Othello's relationship with Desdemona. However, on the other hand, it's professional, so Iago's jealousy over Cassio's senior rank. The other important and very prominent theme is the theme of race. So Othello is one of the earliest black heroes in English literature and he's depicted as having risen to power through his skills and hard work, which was extremely rare at the time. However, despite his rank, he's still judged and mistreated for his race. For example, Desdemona's father believes that Othello must have used witchcraft to win her over, and she could not genuinely love a black man. Gender is another prominent theme. So the men in this play cause the most problems because of the jealousy and anger over women and women's sexuality. Indeed, Othello kills his own wife Desdemona, as does Iago kill his wife Emilia. So both women in the play are murdered by their husbands and it doesn't take much convincing for Othello to believe that his wife is cheating on him and he's been cuckolded. Now when you're analysing, there's a few key symbols that are really important to discuss. The first is the handkerchief, which is the main symbol throughout the play. 
For Desdemona, it symbolizes a husband love, and for Othello, it symbolizes her fidelity. And hence, when she gives it away, presumably, he sees that as an act of infidelity. When Othello that sees that Cassio has it, he assumes that she is not faithful. It also symbolizes Desdemona, Desdemona's virginity. It's white with red strawberries, so in a way, uh, her losing it is like her losing her innocence to another man. And the handkerchief also symbolizes how something very small can lead to major problems. The other theme is the candle, because the candle Othello blows out just before he murders Desdemona symbolizes him extinguishing her life. Another theme is a, a, another symbol is the symbol of animals. So throughout the play, Othello is characterized by many of the other individuals as animalistic, and this has very strong racial and racist overtones. So according to Iago, there's something bestial and animalistic about Othello. He's based, beastly, and somehow beneath everyone else in Venice because of his North African heritage. The animal imagery permeates the play, play often referring to Othello's otherness. So that's all in terms of the key characters, the key themes to bear in mind, as well as symbolism. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel for more educational videos and do head over to our website to get and download free revision worksheets for your own self-study and practice. Thank you so much for listening.